B engine. This will be this will be your B engine. This will be your B engine. And <coughs> before that, you will be having a channel. Before that, you will be having a channel. Then comes your destination part. Then comes your destination part. Okay, so it will be like uh, event. This will be your B working memory. Suppose this is your B B working memory. This will be your memory. Then comes your object management. This will be your object management. Okay. Once the events B once enters, it will be your event. Again, it will be your event. And once it enters the channel part, it converts into the message format. Same way, it will be pushed as a message. So once it is entered the ch this channel part, this is a channel. This is this is channel and this is also a channel. So this is the no normal behavior of B. Let's see how it actually works. Okay. So in B, if you can see, suppose this this application, whatever the application, who is the uh, whatever might be the application here, it might be your Java application, it might be your typical BW part, or it might be anything, any external application which sending a normal message. So once you get the message on a particular destination, what the destination which in uh, which you are referring to in BW, like it might be your topic, it might be your queues, and anything. What are the message or the destination it might be? Once BW application sends, or B, suppose let's take the scenario like BW application is sending a message. So once the destination gets a message, the channel we have in B we have a concept called channel binding to a message destination and particular channel, and it converts that message into an event form. So the so internally what channel does is. It receives the message. It serializes the message into an event, into an event. So now the message has been converted into an event, and this particular event is taken care by the B engine. That once it receives an event, it takes the functionality of asserting that particular event into the business events working memory. This particular work is taken handle by the B engine. Once it receives or inserts that particular event into the working memory, this is done before. One, before already there is a there is the rule agenda been already been created before the event is were inserted into the working memory b decides all the things like rules agenda it's need to create and what are the rules which need to be inserted into the agenda so based upon the incoming event it has inserted the it has already uh, inserted the rules into the working agenda and now all the rules which are satisfied with the incoming event based on the priority we will be setting the priority suppose i got an event Are executed again. We'll be inserting as part of rules execution. We might be sending an event, or we might be consuming an event. Suppose the rule execution is done, and we have sent an event. That event again will be sent to the channel wherein the deserializing part is done, and that will be converted into the form of message, and will be sent to the Thank <laughs> you.